More than any other sector of the economy, natural resource extraction is written with infinitude's arc. Ores are exhausted, oil reserves dry up, and so forth. This process is especially visible in southern Africa. By 2033, not so far away, by 2033, the South African Chamber of Mines anticipates that all gold mining using conventional methods will have come to an end in that country. Into its ruins and the toxified environments that the mines generated, migrants from the destitute regions of the neighboring countries and the peripheries of South Africa are moving in search of residual gold. These individuals aspire to itinerancy, but find themselves captured by the logic of the migrant. Like Griot's men of the forge, their bodies are also made in and through their work. But the origin is less an event than an eternally repeating process, and the violent shaping of elbow and knee on the anvil does not begin to grasp the full co-implication of body and milieu that defines this form of becoming in the ruins of industrial life. In fact, we don't need to turn to myth at all to find accounts that address the co-production of corporeal being where machinery conjoins body and milieu in industrial or post-industrial contexts, certainly not in South Africa. The literary and popular narrative traditions devoted to life in the gold mines are replete with examples of the mutual mimesis and metaphoric transfiguration of organic and inorganic matter, of machines and bodies shaped by each other in a morbid dance of life and death. These tradition, traditions provide an answer to the tale of the artisanal origin and of its dissimulating return in post-industrial life. But their lessons depend or are encoded in narratives told not from the perspective of the unified self-consciousness metaphorized in the rhyming couplet of the pronomial I and the physiological I, which possesses the world as mine, nor from the point of view of a disembodied oculus soaring above the planet of terrestrial existence. Rather, they are encoded in narratives spoken from the point of view of organs that have been invested and lacerated closed and opened, autonomized and poisonously undermined by their environment. 